<laughs> that one show that they then took the clip of you rolling your eyes at me? Yes. And made kind of a meme about this? A little bit. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. Let's watch yourself this time, all right? <laughs> all right. Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with Dan Rosanova, who is the king of eventing. Did you hear that? It rhymes. <laughs> do, you, do you like that? Okay. And we are now here to talk about a brand new capability that we've added atop of uh, event hubs. So tell us a little bit about what we've done. What, first, first of all, what we've seen with event hubs up until now, and then what we've recently announced and added, and then show us a little bit of demo. Let's go. Go for it. You bet. So Azure Event Hubs is a uh, distributed log service. It's yes. a lot like Apache Kafka, conceptually, mm -hmm. partition log. Um, and it's very widely used within Azure uh, by our customers. Uh, the service today runs about 2.2 trillion requests a day. A lot of like IoT services, All application streaming, blah, 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 blah. Absolutely. Blah. Anything you can think, telemetry, clickstream, whatever. Sure. Real and time it's fully stuff. fully managed. There's no VMs. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's sort of like a serverless service in that regard. Absolutely. Okay, great. Perfect. Yep. And so we have that capability out there. Uh, it's really well integrated in Azure. There are a lot of tools like Stream Analytics and Functions that work with it, yeah, other services. Of course. Um, and so what we've done is we've noticed that uh, the Apache Kafka community has grown really big and has a great ecosystem around it yeah. uh, of open source projects of course. that all work well with Kafka. And what we did was we added the Kafka protocol on top of the Event Hub service. So now you can use anything from the Apache Kafka ecosystem uh, with an event hub, and it thinks it's talking to uh, Kafka. So basically, it's a. F I mean, in some ways, it's a fully managed serverless Kafka experience. Yes, for Kafka on, on, on top of it, and there and there's no no one else that has anything like that, right? Not really. Yeah, no. it's awesome. Yeah. So so this is great. So you've got now this Kafka support, and and when you're using it, is there like do you have to like change the way you're writing your Kafka solution to make? Sure and we're back from technical difficulties here for the rest of the demo. <laughs> so here we are, and you were going to show us how it, this is just like using any sort of Kafka solution. Absolutely. So here in Eclipse, I've got uh, a Kafka producer. You can see from the imports that I don't have anything Azure or Event Hubs or Microsoft. No, that purely. nasty Azure stuff in here. <laughs> it's just straight Plain Kafka. Plain vanilla Kafka. Java and Kafka. And as long as Booyah. you do Kafka 1.0 or later, we're compatible at a binary level. And here I've changed a couple properties just to say where the cluster is, right. uh, which you need anyway. Yeah, of course. And then I've turned on authentication and TLS or SSL uh, for transport yeah. because we require Make security. it secure, of course. Yep. And so now this code just makes a loop run and sends some, some, some data in. Got it. And I press it and it runs and it's actually connecting to, up to Azure um, and sending this data into event hubs. So quick, easy, yep. works perfectly. Done. Perfect. Uh, and if I go over to my Azure portal. There you can see these little spikes of this. Uh, yeah, yeah I can go. see the traffic through here. Yep. And then really cool, from an integration standpoint. So this is right. This is the event hub with Kafka turned on, basically, as part of this uh, a part of this deployment in Azure. Yes. And actually, uh, going forward, we're going to just turn this on for every event. So hub. every event hub will have a Kafka head. Yep. Awesome. Use either. Even existing ones that people have already filled with data, and so they just light up. Absolutely. Beautiful. And one of the best parts of it is that while Kafka has a very rich ecosystem and all these great open source projects We're around it, into it right? Azure has a really rich ecosystem as well. And so here I'm looking at an Azure function that's actually connected up to uh, that event hub. Yes. And so I'm using the bindings from functions, which uh, this is just a, a binding for, uh, for event hubs. Yeah. You can go create a new function yeah. and choose the binding. Yeah, of course. And now when I send this data into here, it'll actually read it out of this using the event hubs bindings. Yes. So the function is doing event hubs, but the producer is doing Kafka. Yes. And it bridges the traffic between the two. Got it. Got yeah, it. So write with one, read with the other, and you can choose which and direction the you want to And the reading the traffic and acting on it. So you could also do stream analytics, but then also some of the event hub technology, right? We did a show on Archive. Yes. And so you could even integrate with Archive, right? And be able to yep. take advantage of that. And so um, uh, some of the DR capabilities, I mean, we've done some cool shows on this, right? So all yep. that just will work. All that works. With the Kafka head. Just works. That's Including all this with auto inflate. Managed, yep. Completely managed, completely. That's awesome. Yep. So, I mean, in some ways, people get the best of both worlds. They get this portable, uh, portable language for their event streaming, right? Yep. So they get this Kafka language, so they can, you know, they're not. There's no sort of sense of lock-in, right? They can go and move things around. But when they're running on Azure, they have a fully managed and fully integrated experience. Yeah. If they wanted. Absolutely. Wow. Well, that's great work. Anything else that you have on this that you wanted to talk about? I mean, it's just, I mean, it's pretty magical what you've shown already. Yeah, I think the only thing I'd say is uh, give it's it a try. Now. Uh, it's so everyone can go try ten regions. Yeah, it's in yeah. ten or so regions. It'll be global uh, in September, end of September. Okay, every great. region. Good, and then uh, and then uh, GA this year, some sometime. Secret. GA, the, secret. Is that a secret? 
You know when it isn't. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it's a secret. You could guess. I could guess. <laughs> <laughs> it may be at an event coming. All right. Awesome. Very, very cool. You guys should try it out. If you have any questions for us, tweet us, right? At, uh, hashtag Azure TWC. And that stands for Tuesdays with Corey. And you're you're on Twitter because I think you answered some questions last time around, right? Yeah. If you want to share your. Uh, it's uh, Dan Rosnova. That's an easy one to remember. Exciting. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful Tuesday and go go Kafka some things. It's uh, you know. Look out for your career. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most it? serious I could be for like three minutes. And now I'm just like, now I'm just like the whole thing is, look at my shirt. Oh, my shirt's cool. Ready? Look at this. Did you see my shirt? I did. <laughs> Only periodically. Clever, right?